Hey everybody, my name is Welcome back to my channel, SoCal Shave. So I just finished up doing a uh, mail call. Uh, so head on over to check that out if you guys haven't already done so. And we're gonna get into a shave here. This will be my uh, shave, on my last shave before I head back out on the road. Uh, so gotta get a shave in before I head out. <clears throat> and I will show you what I'm gonna be using here today. And this is a <clears throat> sample that was sent over from uh, Oz Shaving Company. And I believe this is uh, pumpkin head. So this is their pumpkin, pumpkin uh, 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 spicy scent. I don't remember the scent profiles of it, um, but it's like a, a pumpkin, uh, a pumpkin scent mixed with some boozy, uh, some spicy. Um, it's got a different notes in there. Um, it is on the very, very dark side. But I'm very interested in trying it out because so many scents have come to the den here that I've put off for so long. Um, and I really want to just stop uh, judging a book by its cover, if you will, and try things out. So this is not a scent I would pick up uh, on a whim or smelling it for the first time. Um, but you never know. So <clears throat> I will put the scent profile on the screen here. And I will be using, excuse me, let me start with this first, the Lord Razor, which is a really mild razor, but can still nick you. <clears throat> this is a um, replica of the Gillette Tech. And I will be using the um, Merker, was it Merker Platinums? No, Marker Super Platinums. I'll be using these blades here. And if those don't work out in this razor, I'll be using these here. I haven't used these razor and blade, this razor and blade combo. And I will be using my pre-shave here. This will be the pre-shave I'm going to use here today. Let me put this on in well. I'm going to use a nice general, generous amount. I thought this would be nice and fitting for the shave. You know, a slice of pumpkin pie. A scent of um, oatmeal. From the freaking net in here. Um, the scent of uh, um, oatmeal. Camel meal. I thought that would be fitting for the uh, scent um, choosing today. But we'll see. And uh, give me a second, guys. I'm all over the place here. So, with the spiciness and the booziness, gonna be using this today as my aftershave. Beautiful scent. There's a side there. That's the Dirty City Chop Shop. Some information here on the side as well. So there's that. Set that off to the side. That is not waterproof, so you gotta be very careful with that. <clears throat> and my aftershave bomb of choice, given the Perazzo White pre-shave, let's go with the post-shave. And we'll be using 
this here, which is the, um, I don't remember the name of this anymore, but the Maggard, um, I think it's like a 32 millimeter uh, synthetic. So given the little theme of the woodiness and a little bit of a woody orange, I think it'd be pretty cool with the theme here. And I will be gathering up my sample here in the bowl. <clears throat> So let's get to <clears throat> pulling some of this out, this sample out, and in to my bowl. <clears throat> so I hope you all are well. By the time you see this, there will be a few uploads because I've been hell of busy and really haven't gotten a chance to uh, get things situated really really busy so by the time you see this you're going to be like what the hell is up with all these uploads one after another and you will know the reason behind it <clears throat> Okay, so I've got my sample out. Let me just press it down into the bowl here. It is in different colors here, so it's a possibility that the scents may have separated like the oils may have uh, went down to the bottom of the scent there or ri risen to the top excuse me like that uh samog that lavender samog where <clears throat> all the oils went down to the bottom but you can probably see that there there's two different colors it's like a beige -ish, a beige -ish, beige ish brown and then the brown on the side or that just might be where the soap looks, I don't know. All right, so let me load my razor. Yeah, so like I said, I hope you guys are all well. Uh, for myself, I'm doing good. I've had some uh, some bad luck. Um, my recent purchase of that Fougere Gothic, right after taking the pictures, or let me show you here, right after taking this picture here, uh, this happened. It was uh, unfortunate that that happened. Um, show you the blade there, excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, it, it sucks that it happened. Um, can't do anything about it now. But uh, I got a surprise for you guys. No purchase. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, me and Jeffrey are on a buying spree until 2019 of January. So next year, uh, we're on a buying spree. Let's see who can hold off the longest. I don't know what's going to happen yet. So it's, yeah, it's not a purchase. I haven't purchased anything. These are stuff that were uh, already on, on the way. And the other one was uh, a gift from my buddy Mike Gasmer. Um, but I got a surprise to show you guys when it does get here. And I'll explain what happened. I'll explain other details when it gets here so razors loaded enough yapping but please guys anyone out there who's got an aftershave uh fougere gothic who they're looking or uh they're looking to get rid of or sell or or what have you um please let me know i would really really like to get 
a hold of that aftershave again. Um, it has been very, very hard to get a hold of that. Uh, my buddy Alex Leon helped me with that. So if you guys know anybody or have or yourself have the Fougere Gothique um, aftershave, um, I, hopefully um, new, as new as possible, I would really appreciate that. And please, let's be reasonable with the price. I'm not trying to make you rich off an aftershave. I mean, I'm just being very honest, guys. I know it's unobtainium, but come on, I'm trying to pay um, as close as possible as the original price, maybe a little bit more, but I mean, I'm not trying to make you guys rich, so please, or not make anybody else rich off of this. So please, if you guys can help me out or know any information, please send me the details uh, via Messenger, uh, Instagram, uh, YouTube, Facebook, whatever you feel is best. Um, let's get into it here. So let me wet this again here, and let's get into it. Yeah, so what had happened was, um, if you guys can tell by the mail call of the Fougere Gothic, um, the aftershave had leaked out. And uh, I took, went outside to take pictures of the aftershave to show the uh, seller or, or eBay for that matter, if there was any issues along the line along the way and uh yeah this is nice i like this it's a bit dark honestly but um <clears throat> i don't mind it um yeah so when that had happened um i was trying to get a clearer picture so I went outside to take that picture put the bottle down it was windy outside. Never did I think that the wind was gonna be strong enough to knock down a uh, three quarters full bottle of aftershave. Um, I didn't feel it was that strong, but it is what it is. The bottle broke into a million pieces and that was the remaining of it. Um, and that was the end of that story. So, bummer. Win some, you lose some. Yeah, so this is a, uh, I can't put my finger on what this smells like. It doesn't necessarily smell like pumpkin pie. Um, you know what this smells like? A bit of a pumpkin mixed with abuelita chocolate. The very first one before Nestle uh, came in like a like a spicier version like the like the Mexico or Tijuana version that's just me yeah, for those of you who are Mexican definitely know what I'm talking about all right so I got tons in the brush then this is a big ass a big ass knot <clears throat> but let's get into this here I'm nervous given the cinnamon in here. So hopefully I won't get a reaction to it. I already have the perfect amount of water, I could feel it. So no need to worry about that. Let's get into the first pass.
Now I have 24 hours worth of growth on my face. <clears throat> so I just gotta be careful and take it easy. My facial hair growth is really coarse right now. I can feel that. Now this scent, for me, is a bit dark. It's a bit uh, spicy. So this uh, this would not be a scent for me. I don't I don't I don't feel. <clears throat> Second pass cross grain. Yeah, we might have a problem here with my uh, facial hair growth and this razor bed combination. Thank you. 
So third pass against the grain. We might have an issue here, we'll see. You can see it a bit juddery, but just being careful, it's okay. I don't, I don't feel like I'm in any, uh, not danger, but I didn't need any concern or worry, have to, have to concern or worry. I don't feel uh, like I'm gonna hurt myself or, you know what I'm saying. Dang it, I can't, I don't have a word. It's just my hair is so down coarse. The blade is struggling to get through the stubble and you all know that this is my favorite blade <clears throat> one of my favorite should I say and that feels Pretty damn good. A little bit of cleanups to do, but uh, not too much. I'll do this off camera. Out what's left out of the brush here. So it's nice. All right, I'm gonna do my cleaning pass the camera, I'll be back. guys just did my uh clean up passes off camera warm water cold water rinse get in with the animal stick and that was a fantastic shave and i did um i already round this off huh 
this keeps going. These are really great stuff too. If you guys haven't seen these, it's got a little roller ball in it and some aloe vera and stuff in it, helps stop the bleeding, um, depending on how bad the nick is, but still works fine. Some nicks are just stubborn like this one here. I'm just getting with the Allen stick. Oh, and I rounded down the uh, bottom too. So that soap is a definite plus. I didn't get any reaction to it. And the shave is a nice DFS, almost BBS. Because that shaver is really mild and you don't want to um, over shave. Fantastic. Let me rinse this off. All right, guys, all done. And the scent is strong. Uh, the scent is present. Just is too spicy for me. You guys might dig it, but that's the sample I use there. I'm gonna go ahead and top this back up. Still got some remaining sample down at the bottom. And uh, let me top up my little Nipstick. Oh, this is the name of the Nipstick if you guys are looking to get one. There you guys go. Pacific Shaving Company is the name of the seller there. And let's get in with the aftershave now. Take off this little cork. And pour out the back so you don't damage your label. Very, very lightly because it's got a big hole with no restrictor if you guys can see there. And I've actually come to like this um, splash. Given it, given it is also a seasonal scent, I got a lot of people asking where can I get that because they can't find it. And the reason behind that because it's a seasonal scent. It comes out around the end of October or mid-November, beginning of November. And they do it for uh, the holidays. So fantastic. That is a beautiful scent. And it's also a, a um, spicy scent. So it matches or pairs nice with the soap. Yeah, this will be the first time pairing this up. Um, pretty sure it'll we'll do okay. Go with that there. This is like another Nivea. It's um. Pretty neutral. Yeah. That is a really nice, nice shade. Yeah, and it pairs really well. I really, really, really dug that shave. So Ian, again, thank you buddy for sending over that sample over at Oz Shaving Company. Let's get into the uh, recap here. Went in with the Lord uh, Gillette Tech re replica head. There you guys go. Uh, blade of choice was the um, Merker Super Platinums. My blade of choice. Um, my brush here was the, I think it's like a 26. 26, 31 mil, 32 mil. I think it's a 26. Yeah, I think it's a 26 Maggard Synthetic. There you guys go. My aftershave was the Derby City Chop Shop, the Shave Tonic, Aftershave Bomb. What was this here? 
and went with my pre-shave which was the same as the Perazzo White aftershave uh, bomb and that is my shave guys hope you guys enjoyed if you do please like favorite share and subscribe thanks for joining me and i will catch you guys on the next one you also see about that later